Hi, I'm Sheena. I'm an alchemy athlete and I'm also a freedive instructor. I'm from Canada, but today I'm coming to you from Sue Freer Guest House in beautiful Dominica, and I'd like to talk a little bit about the duck dive. The duck dive is the technique that freedivers use to leave the surface of the water. It's how we get underneath, and ideally, we're performing it using as little energy as possible. I wanted to talk about this technique because I've seen many non-freedivers and also many beginner freedivers and also a few more experienced freedivers who are doing this technique and there's a bit of room for improvement so maybe they're not being as efficient as they could be using a little bit too much energy. Honestly, I think the best way to learn this technique is to take a certification level freedive class with an experienced instructor, doesn't matter what agency, and that way you can get some real-time feedback, which is, it's more valuable than the tips that I'm gonna give you today. I'm going to explain to you how I teach this technique. I'm gonna show you the sequence of movements that uh, you'll need to practice to make it work, and I'm gonna show them to you first on land, which is gonna be hilarious. It, might not make a whole lot of sense, but I'm also going to show you in the water. Don't worry, that'll make a little bit more sense. And I'm going to break it down for you, as well as uh, a couple of variations for maybe if you're having sticky ears, or maybe you've got something in your hands like a camera or a spear. Uh, I'm not a Spearow yet, so maybe you guys can tell me more about this. But yeah, I'm going to give you some options. So let's uh, let's get into it. Okay, so let's pretend we're floating on the surface of the water. That will be the surface. I'm floating on my stomach. That's down. That's where we want to go. I'm breathing. I'm relaxing. I've got one hand on my snorkel. I take my big breath and then the first thing I'm going to do is take my snorkel out. Now I pre-equalize. Put my arms in front of me and do a few gentle kicks no splash is just generating some forward momentum and now i want to turn that forward momentum into downward momentum so i got to bend from the waist 90 degrees like a hinge and i'm going to point my hands where i want to go which is down bending from the waist At the same time i put one or two legs up that will push me underwater i do a nice strong arm sweep well okay let's pretend that's down now <laughs> strong arm sweep and bring one hand to my nose so I can equalize right away and start to kick. If you don't have access to the water, you can memorize and practice the dry sequence, but now I wanna show you the same steps in action. Welcome to the Blue Element platform in Soufriere, Dominica. Hopefully with some practice, your duck dive will end up close to this one, relaxed, unhurried, no splashing, and hardly any effort. It might take a few tries, but here's how it's done. Same steps as dry. I'll put one hand on my snorkel, take my big breath. I'll take my snorkel out and pre-equalize. My arms go in front, gentle kicks, bending at the waist, one leg up, strong arm sweep, now kicking, equalizing and looking directly at the line if you have one. Let's see it again. Hand on my snorkel, taking my big breath, snorkel out, pre-equalize, arms in front, gentle kicks, bending, one leg up, arm sweep, equalizing, kicking, and looking at the line. Here's a duck dive in action. I'm safetying my friend John on a deep dive, timing it to meet him at 30 meters. It works the same. I pre-equalize, but 
You'll notice I don't bring my hand to my nose underwater. That's because I'm equalizing hands-free. When you practice, don't forget to equalize as soon as you're underwater. Here's John's duck dive. You'll notice that, like me, he brings only one leg up. You can bring both legs up if you like, but for us it's less energy and I think it looks cooler too. One more for you. This one, if you have to hold something or need to keep one hand on your nose to help equalize a sticky ear. Now you'll do the arm sweep with just one hand and it still works if you've got a good bend. If you're holding an object, it helps to point the object straight down. Go slow. You don't need to be moving fast to do this. A lot of people, especially when they're new, they think like, oh, I need to kick really hard and get a lot of speed in order to make it work. And that's totally not true. You can do this relaxed, super chill. Trust in the sequence. As long as you're doing that, it doesn't really matter if you're doing it pretty slow. Like you can see in the video, I'm doing it pretty slow and it works. And it's very little energy. It's, it's even relaxing. So go slow, go slow. The next tip I can give you is uh, once you're underwater, wherever the top of your head is pointing is where your body is going to want to follow. So if the top of your head is pointing straight down, you're gonna go straight down, but if your head is more like this, well, then your back is gonna bend and you're gonna make a banana shape and you're kind of gonna start to go banana-like. <laughs> you're not gonna be going straight. So yeah, keep that in mind uh, as you're practicing. That's it for now. I hope this breakdown was helpful for you. Remember to always freedive with a trained buddy, never alone. And if you want to progress safely and efficiently, not just with your duck dive, but with other skills as well, take a certification level class. It's well worth it.